Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out Spectacle. This is like a cool little classic, like very, very classic inspired point and click adventure game where you have like magic and stuff to solve the puzzles and everything. So it seems pretty cool. I thought I would go ahead and hop in. Let's see, no load game, new game. Apparently we get stranded in a desert or on an island or something and we know magic. That's mostly how we solve these things. So yeah, I see very, very classic inspired. So spectacle. Let's see, examine. Boom. This is not your usual mail. It's quite a fancy envelope. You should open it. Uh, take. There's nothing there to take. What do you mean? There's an envelope. Okay, well, let's just open it then. Like it said, you open the envelope and remove a very colorful flyer. You should take a closer look at it. Uh, examine. This appears to be a flyer for the famed Spectacle Circus, and it's now visiting your town. Come one, come all to the exciting expedition extravaganza of the new millennium, the Spectacular Spectacle Circus. For one day only, see a magical performance of the ages as our enchanter and his beautiful assistant astound and amaze you. With otherworldly sorcery and impossible feats that have dumbfounded even the greatest magicians and mystics of the East. Something like this comes around but once in a lifetime. You should see it if you can get a ticket. Um... Can I, can I take it now? There's nothing there to take. Self. That's not something you can take with you. Talk. Let's talk to the... <laughs> There's no response. What were you expecting? I'm not sure. There's no response. So... Examine the window? It's nice day outside. You're looking forward to heading out. Quite like the music that's playing in here. So I... Okay, spells and inventory. So we do, we have an inventory and we have magic spells we can cast. Okay, so move. The door is closed. Use door. That doesn't work. Open door. There we go. Time to go to the Spectacle Circus, circus. Move out. All right. I got closer. Oh, tickets. Um, talk. Yeah. You ask how much a ticket is. Tickets are all sold out. You ain't getting in here. Khan slams the ticket booth door shut. Seems like you're out of luck. Maybe you can look around. Hmm. The booth has been closed tight. Pop a balloon, there's one in there. A giant Ferris wheel stands behind the tent, where the midway is located. You can hear the cheers and screams of joy from here. Uh, I keep thinking this is gonna turn me, but no. So can we back away from this? That's not a path I can take. Hmm. How do I, like, back out of this particular menu? Or not menu, but this screen. And other things, normally you, like, press down here, like your your hand turns into an arrow and you can press down there and leave. Nothing to use. Move. There we go. So yeah, we just have to click move and hit the bottom of the screen. Got it. Okay, can we walk up? No, this just takes us back to the ticket thing. Oh yeah, I, I didn't take it off of move. Ticket booth appears to be just ahead. There's a path leading to the side of the tent over here. Ooh, yes. Take me there. Is that a watch? Examine. There appears to be an old pocket watch on the ground. Take? Well, this looks nice, you think to yourself as you take the fancy pocket watch. You notice a loose opening in the circus tent. It's small, but you could, but you could fit through it. Oh, let's mosey on in, why don't we? Hmm. Ball. We got like a, what is that, clown nose? Before you even make a move, the two figures appear before you dressed in full performance outfits. One appears to be a very imposing man with a magic wand, and with him is a woman donning a showy dancer's outfit. You can't help but feel like they were somehow expecting you. The woman gives you an odd look as she steps to the side. The magician bellows out in a deep voice. So, you thought you could sneak into my spectral circus. You're quite the bold one to try and pull one over me. What shall I do with you, one who would interrupt my great performance? Yes, of course, you will pay for your transgression by running a little, shall we say, errand for me. You will not work for the circus, though. This will be a matter of life and death. You will retrieve a treasure for me. Firstly, I must ask that you kindly get into this box. Um... It's a matter of life and death just for sneaking into your performance. 
Seems a bit, uh, seems a bit drastic. And here we are, we're teleported into a new world, looks like. The magic doorway that has brought you to this strange land has vanished. You are stranded with no idea how to get home. You might as well take a look around. Yeah, this is pretty cool so far. I mean, I... I didn't play, like, the old games like this, like Shadowgate and stuff. Um, probably the newest of these variety of games that I've seen and or played is, like, Myst. But Myst was... Myst was similar to this, but not quite. This was, like... DOS, Nintendo era stuff, I suppose? I think the earliest thing I played from back then is, like, The Bard's Tale. So I was playing all the dungeon crawlers, not these. But I still like them. There's a worn footpath leading in this direction. The magic doorway that's brought you to the strange land has vanished. I gotta say, the music's really good so far. Music isn't normally something you think of being very good in these types of games, but I'm, like, I'm really feeling this music. Props to whoever worked on the soundtrack in this game. A beautiful red poppy field as far as the eye can see. Indeed it is. So do I keep moving? That's not a path. Well, I didn't want to go back. Hmm. We see a falcon flying around in the area. Um, I don't have any magic, yeah. Yeah, examine, examine. Do I take a poppy? You can't take that. Use. Open the poppy. Talk to the poppy. There's no response. Yeah. Okay. Well, hmm. Where do go now, then? Beautiful red poppy field, yeah. I guess we just try to move somewhere? Ooh, okay, there we go. Okay, what is that? A rolled parchment appears to be sitting in the riverbank. Take? Pick up the scroll and take it with you. Use. What do you want to use this on? Examine. Notes of a vizier the first. In my haste to prepare this kingdom from ransackery, I had dropped my satchel somewhere. Nevertheless, in the first of the Shah's tasks, I have succeeded to entrust me with hiding the key to the sun, and thus with better place thus what better place to hide such a key than in the sun itself. One need only to wish upon such a glorious star and reflect upon its celestial glory. So you hit a key in the sun. Okay, and it said you need only look upon it? Okay. Is there anything? Shallow river bank leading into the river. This must be a popular place for weary travelers to bathe. Path that leads straight to the gate. Okay, so we want to take the river path first, I believe. What? Okay, there we go. It said that wasn't a path you could take. I was like, wait, why? Muddy riverbank covered in moss. The air feels damp. Doesn't seem like there's anything really here. The riverbank continues this way. You can hear the sound of a waterfall. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I'm quite into this. There's a bottle afloat in the water. Too far from the bank to reach. You'll have to get in the water to retrieve it. Into the river. From here it flows into a lake. There's a gentle waterfall pouring into the river. Yeah, the art's really nice, too. Okay, so I have to get into the water. That's not a path. Uh, I can't go there. Doesn't lead anywhere. This doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get into the water to... Grab that. Can I just take it? As you wade into the water, you attract a group of piranha. They swirl around you and attack viciously. Their many, many bites chew away at your body. They strip the flesh from your bones. You are the tastiest thing they've had in ages. Your adventure has come to a tragic end. Wow! Okay. Okay, so we're dealing with one of those kinds of, uh... games where you can't actually die and have bad ends. I think the tree was in, um, Shadowgate as well. But, I mean, the same was true in Shadowgate. Alright, examine. You see a large door surrounded by a water-damaged mural. There's a floor of clay tiles beneath your feet. Black door block in blocks entry and strangely there's no keyhole. Hmm. I don't really think there's anything I can do here. Apparently I need to find out how to deal with the sun. There's an item right here, but I can't go in there and get it because of the piranhas. And I don't think I have a spell or anything that would take care of them. So... 
Uh, yeah, I want to leave. Okay. So, let's see. Can we go there? That's not a path. That's not a path. Ooh, I can go to the right. Okay, cool. There's a discarded coin purse here on the ground. You picked up the coin purse and take the two coins from it. Okay, so I got a sun coin and a moon coin. Thick golden coin with an imprint of a sun. And imprint of the moon. Alright. Beautiful red poppy field. Is there a path over here? It does look like there's more paths. It looks like they kind of outline the paths so you can see which ways you can and can't go. Is that a lightning bug? It's an insect buzzing around. This buzzy is especially luminescent. This leads to the front door of the palace. Palace in the distance. Its placement on top of the hill is perfectly picturesque. Hmm. But I think I would rather go down here. Excuse me? Just a random foot? It's a large stone foot because it once belonged to a giant statue? There's a path here leading into the dunes of the desert. The edge of the fields. There's a vast desert onward. See the palace? Yeah. Okay, well. Um... North, east, west, south. Okay, so that just lets us know... There's a compass drawn on the ground here. You should study it, as it will help you navigate this land. Hmm. I, wonder if there, I wish there was some day I could write it down so I have it in my inventory. So... Let's just go ahead and write that down on my notes over here. North, east, west, south. Okay. Now we have that written down, so we can at least know which way we're supposed to be going if it says, like, go north or something like that. Alright, I can't go to the city. I can't go to the palace, though, so let's... There we go. We have reached the palace. You stand before a palace of stunning stonework with a small wooden door. The door is closed, but it does not appear to be locked. Hmm a path. You stand before a palace. Let's see. Doesn't lead anywhere. Not a path I can take. Darn. Okay, I don't think I can get in there then. And yeah, the only other option is to go... This doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, okay. So... Wait, what's the deal with this? What is that on the water? Hmm. There's like orange stuff over there. All right. Well, let's go into the desert. So, is this how we're supposed to see the sun? I guess. Endlessly wandering the desert caught up with you. You die of exhaustion. Rest in peace. Hmm. I want to see the sun though. Endless desert in all directions. Okay, hmm. Well, let's keep moving, I guess. Oh! The sun disappeared, went away. And let's live on in the desert, just caught up with you, blah blah blah. I died again, because, uh, I'm not good at this game, apparently. Okay, let's see. So, if I get the sun fully on screen, now can I, like, examine it? No. Hmm. I was thinking I gotta like use this sun coin or examine the sun and then I will get the key that it mentioned. Doesn't seem like that's the case though. In this desert. And yep, die of exhaustion in the desert. Alright, well, let's get out of the desert I suppose. Maybe I don't have the item I need to do anything with this. But I can't really get in anywhere else. Oh wait, there's like slots in this door? That isn't what you need right now. Aw. Oh. It's not appear to be locked. It's closed, but it doesn't appear to be locked. Oh! Wow, why didn't I do that before? Jeez. You see a cloaked figure before you. Okay. Hanging nursery. 
humble sized foyer home to many exotic plants and flowers. The exquisite decor suggests this was a place of great importance. Hello. Welcome to what remains of our kingdom. It is a desolate land doomed by a greedy zealot bent on seizing control. He's the one who sent you here, that charlatan is from the world from this world and was banished to yours after an ill-fated attempt to take over our land. Oh, okay. So he was banished to our world. Well, why'd he send me here? Oh, I guess he just can't go at all, so he's sending somebody else there to get something for him? Yeah, he didn't mention getting something for him. But the damage has already been done. You wish to escape, but alas, my powers have weakened significantly. I dare not ask so much of one so astray, but you and I share a goal. We can work together, if you'll be so kind. There's an important broken instrument within these walls. A friend to the south will help you fix it. A friend to the south. Important broken instrument within these walls. A friend to the south will help you fix it. To aid you, I have hidden magic spells in the form of engravings. I trust they will be most helpful to you. Good luck until we meet again. Okay, what is that? Yeah, nothing. It's not a path, it's not a path. Okay, I can go up here. It's not a path, and that's not a path. So we can only go deeper in here. Okay, well, examine this moon symbol. The tiling on the ground is in the shape of a crescent moon. Use moon coin? This doesn't have any use, okay. Large atrium with finely decorated walls. This wall is a frame like a doorway, but the wall is quite solid. Open. It's not something you can just open. Use moon coin on door. That's the one you need right now. <laughs> okay, well. Ooh, what is that? That looks like something. The store is closed. Okay. That's something. Ooh, what do we got in here? What is that? All that remains of a beautiful instrument. In its current state, it is useless. Take. You take the broken instrument. Now let's examine. There's a large book on the table. Take. That's not something you can take with you. Why not? Is it just too big? Open the book. As your hand lifts the, as your hand begins to lift the cover, the book flips itself open to a page as if it wants you to read something. Examine. Scholar's diary. None shall hold dominion over the wild blue flame, long imprisoned by the spectral full moon. As long as such curses are to blame, broken free now of its goal, only with equal ferocity and sunken gale granted from a wish can one hope to subdue such a burning being. In these dark times, seek well wishes under the brightest of moons to snuff out Inferno without fail. Okay, so to get the key, we need to wish under the sun. To snuff out blue flame, we need to wish under the moon. Got it. So let's move out of here. And let's go down this way. Open. You open a small door revealing a storage space beneath the stairs. You see a stone tablet. Take. You take the stone tablet. It appears to be a Rosetta Stone. A tablet covered in various symbols used to decipher magical text written in a long dead language. Got it. Can't go there? Why not? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Examine. Okay, this appears to be a ritualistic hall with a bonfire perhaps used to sacrifice material goods in exchange for knowledge from the gods. Okay, and there's even a... The fire blazes at a menacing fiery figure forms in front of you. Um... Leaf. <laughs> Maybe examine it? I feel like they're gonna kill me. The apparition is still, but could strike if any sudden movements are made. You feel its heat from across the room. Okay, I think that's the situation where I have to, um... I probably have to extinguish that blue flame somehow by wishing under the moon? Tiling on the ground, yeah. And I can't open it. I can't just move in. Use? There's nothing to use. Hmm. So... They said friend to the south can... That's not a path... Wait, what? Why is that closed now? No, oh wait, now you're open. Okay, so it must be a time thing. Interesting. Examine. This is a very large stone... Well. 
on the path I can take. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Open the well? This won't open. Take the well. Use the well. No. Talk to it? No one's listening. Okay. Oh, and I just realized this on the map here tells you which paths you can actually take. Interesting. I hadn't picked up on that. So let's pass time a little bit to see if this door opens back up. Because she said her friend to the south, and I believe this is to the south, so maybe that, like, flame spirit is what I want to use um, my instrument on. Okay, maybe time isn't what actually caused this, because I feel like I've went back and forth here quite a few times now, and nothing appears to be happening. Let's check our... Oh, wait, there it goes. 6.30. Okay, well... Yes, it does. I just clicked in the incorrect spot. Okay, so use broken instrument on that. In an instant, the fire creature engulfs you in flames that burn both your body and soul to nothing. Yep, okay. Venture has come to a tragic end. Yeah. Alright, so... It seems to be all we can do here. At least for now. Maybe we need to find some of these tablets to give me access to... Magic or something. Let's go down. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do with the new stuff I have. Wait, what is that? One rock stands out here. It appears to be loose. It's not something you can take. Use. You move the loose stone of sludge, revealing some items that were tucked and hidden away, but by whom? There's a crevice here with a couple of objects. Take the key. Ooh, it's a key. You take the scroll. Okay. Notes of a Vizier 2. As for my second task, I still have the key for now while its accompanying lock is buried deep in the southern land. Its contents now hidden. That should keep the thieves from plundering a cosmic jewel most precious. More importantly, the hidden jewel will not tempt the odd keeper from abandoning its post to protecting what remains of our dear king. So, in the desert, because it said the lands to the south, there's something hidden. Examine. Endless desert. The ruby red key. I don't think there's actually anything for me to find here, because I just get lost in the desert. Oh cool, we can go down from here? Oh, I didn't notice this before. There are a few molted feathers sitting on the ground near the base of this tree. Nothing there. Doesn't work. What is this up here? A plump and colorful fruit unlike any you've ever seen. You definitely don't recognize it. I can't, like, shake the tree? The other tree looks much more vibrant and alive than the petrified trunk. Quite curious. Is that a snake? It must be a snake, right? You can't take that? Use it? It doesn't work. Hmm. And there's nothing over here. That's where I found that stuff hidden in the crevasse. Excuse me. The pit is empty. It is not deep, but its circular shape means it must have a purpose. Field with a sinkhole in the center in the shape of a perfect circle. It was most likely used during certain rituals. Field with a sinkhole. Field with a sinkhole. Alright, so there's not much going on there. Ah, and here we are back to this. Alright, well, I usually like to just give these games a quick shot. And this one's been pretty fun so far, but uh, I am running out of time here. So I'll put the link to this game in the description if you want to give it a shot yourself. I think it's pretty fun, and the music and art is definitely very, very cool. So props to the developers. This is really, really neat. You don't really see a lot of new games like this being made anymore, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode, or this video, and I will see you next time.